What's up guys and welcome back to our adventures in Faster Than Light. Last episode we managed to save two bug people. We got one from a slave trader which we shot down and we saved one from a deserted island. So now we have two uh, praying mantis people. I don't really know their species. I should probably look that up. Kind of acting as security guards in our ship. And we are still in sector two I believe. So we're going to keep moving. There's eight sectors in the game. And honestly I don't want to rush this game at all because it is my favorite game to play on the channel right now. So where were we? Hmm, yeah, they're moving forward. So we should go down to the distress, I guess. A little bit of action to start off the episode. The distress signal is coming from a small space station orbiting an uninhabited planet. Their satellite defense system has gone haywire, and the repair crew can't approach without being fired on. They're looking for help to fix or disable it. Okay, I guess we can help. You consider your options. Simply fire on the defense system from a distance, Oh, you see, we only have one option. If we had, like, I think if we had an NG, we would be able to send them over to repair it. And if we had, like, it, it depends on what weapons you have and what people you have to see how the story unfolds. So all we can do is really shoot at it. Shit. You fire a few volleys but aren't able to penetrate to the defense system's shields. Its weapons have no trouble piercing yours, though. And you take minor damage before escaping. This station will need to find help elsewhere. Five damage to your hull. And, oh god, no, get in there, fix that. You can get holes in your ship and then the oxygen leaks out. And we have a hole leaking oxygen in our broken oxygen room, so we really need to fix that. Oh no, uh, open the doors. I think if we open the doors, yeah, oxygen can flush in. Your guys can suffocate, which isn't good. Okay, you guys, Jake and Marcus, you can go... I'll get you guys out of here. You can go and heal up, and then we can jump again. So that kind of sucks. We really don't want to be losing a lot of hull. We're going to have to repair it a store soon. Oh no, we can't jump to any of these other ones. We have to go back first. Crap, crap, crap. That means they're going to be really close behind us. There's not going to be anything here. Yeah, they are right there and we need to... I think we can skip this one and go from here to the exit. Let's do... Oh no, we can't. We can only go there. This is what I mean. You can't dilly-dally. Oh no. Weather station. You jump into a sector of the nebula uh, beset by a plasma storm. An automated rebel scout stationed at the beacon moves in to attack, prepare to fight. Okay, so this is unmanned. Oh no, why don't our... Oh, we don't have enough power for stuff. Oh, crap, 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 crap. Get rid of this. Put it into... Oh no, we need to put this stuff into weapons. Get rid of that. There we go. Where's our weapons? One. Yeah, I forgot the plasma storm makes it so your energy is minimized. So right now we don't have enough energy to run. Um, we don't have enough energy to run the med bay or our engines. What is that? What is that? Cannot be targeted hacking drone. Oh, how do we get rid of it? I don't know. This is new. Can we fight it? Oh my god, are we gonna die? This thing is. Oh yeah, we need to like get in. Ah, uh, get in, get in, get in, get in, get in there. We need to like break open our own door and do something. How do we, how do we kill it? Is it a timed thing? Oh, it is a timed thing. Shoot at the weapons. Oh my God, that is just seriously nerve wracking. Oh no, it. Oh, thank God. I was so confused there. Man, the hacking drones are sick. If you fire a hacking drone at somebody's shields or weapons, they're just done. So we still don't have enough energy. Oh god, okay, get rid of all the energy weapons, put it back into um, into engines, and we're gonna jump to... Crap, 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 we're gonna jump to here. This is not good. We are not off to a good start this episode. You cycle through wideband comm channels as soon as you arrive, nothing but static. Okay, oh, and we got our energy back. So we're gonna fix up our shields, we're gonna put energy back into weapons, back into shields once it's repaired. That's the thing, shields take damage, so if it goes orange, then we only have level one shield. If it goes green again, we can put level two back in. We'll fix up the med bay, is anybody hurt? No, we're good. Oh yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, you can see the, um, why is sauce in all capitals? I'm such an idiot. There's a, uh, you can see that they, they train. So like sauce is becoming a good pilot. We have Jake who's becoming a good weapons, 10% faster charge and combat skills, Fish and Charlie. So the idea is you can actually train people to get better and better at their jobs. So we need to keep moving. Do we want to go here first? I think we do. We can afford to dilly-dally just a little bit. 
You arrive at a Zoltan research facility. They say that they are researching genetic distortion due to stasis, sleep, and prolonged FDL travel. They ask you if your crew has the time to undergo a few scans. I tend to not say no to anything in this game. That sounds like, what, what good could come from this? Oh, your crew calmly lines up for the Zoltans to take their readings. After a short time, the process is done. They contact you. Thank you for your participation in our study. Please accept these small cakes made from stiff dough as well as some scrap. Okay, so we got some money out of that. Something good did come of it. It's like, what, what, what good? Ooh, a store. We need to get fixed before we go. Like, what good could come from that? You're, you're gonna get mutated, you're gonna die, something bad's gonna happen. A human ship hails, my friends, please, there is nothing I don't have, and there is nothing worth wanting that I can't get. Why not take a look around my shop? So you guys, oh, you got a clone bay, you got a teleporter, you got mind control. Backup DNA bank. Your crew is safe in clone storage, even if the system is off or broken. That is something new! Automatically clones dead crew with skill penalty, taking advantage of micro-cloning crew heals participate in every jump. Jump heal is a passive and requires no power. Really cool! So I guess you can get these in combination and if you have a crew member die, you can like clone them back to life? Fire suppression. Automatically put out fires through the ship. That's new as well. Oh man, this this free DLC that they released since I last played? Super impressive. Let's um, let's just fix our ship. I like that. Do we have anything to sell? No. I mostly just keep my eye out for new weapons, because you have four weapon slots, we only have one right now. That's really all I'm interested in. Everything else is just kind of moot. We don't have enough energy to run new rooms anyway. This long-range beacon is almost hidden with a nebula. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Okay. And we're charged, so we're moving on. Next sector! And we don't have a choice. We are going to a hostile territory no matter what. But this one gives us two options, and this one only gives us one, right? Okay, so we have to go here. We only have eight fuel left. I should have picked up fuel. Completely forgot. There have been a number of reports of advanced ships salvaging the wrecks and abandoned mining facilities in this sector. Could be that the Lenius have resurfaced. The Lanius. That... I don't know what that is. So we have a store up here we could get fuel from. We probably need to do that. We only have eight fuel. We would go like one, two, three, four, five. Like, yeah. Let's load up on fuel. You arrive to discover a number of Laney's ships docked at what appears to be a station. You hasten to leave, but are relieved that their message is in your language. Buy, sell, traders. Apparently some merchants immigrated from the scavengers. Okay. So, ooh, we can have anti-personnel drones, hull repair drones, the drone control bay. No, we want, uh... We want all of your gasoline. Oh, there's another page! I didn't know that. There's where all the weapons are. I was gonna say, we haven't seen any new weapons yet. Ion Blast, Stun Beam, Stun Bomb, Halberg Beam. I really only want lasers. To be honest with you, I find that these aren't super good, especially the level 1 ones. Slow but reliable, powerful, standard beam weapon. Requires 3 power charge, 17 seconds, damage per room hit 2. What does ours do? Damage per room hit one, but we fire three shots. It doesn't matter, we don't have enough money, I'll worry about it later. So we got gas, we're moving forward, let's go here. You detect a refueling platform near the beacon. Although its broadcast signal is garbled, I like that word, garbled. You can't make out the message. Hail the platform and attempt to communicate. Dock with the platform or ignore the platform. I think like hailing is probably better. I don't really want to dock and just get like bombed or have people like invade the ship. Uh oh. There's a screech from your comm system and the broadcast suddenly cuts off. The platform suddenly begins to move, revealing itself to be a Lanius ship. I don't know what this species is at all. I've, n I've never seen these before. They look super cool, like metallic. Let's bury them. Oh, why? Do they all have this shit? How do we deal with this? Cannot be targeted hacking drone. I need to look this up because it is just killing us. Oh, it only took off one though. That's good. It only got rid of one thing so we can still fire our weapons. Get rid of them. I don't know why I keep having these guys break in. They don't seem to be able to do anything. How do you get rid of a hacking drone? Strange. I don't like it. Fire the burst lasers! 
Okay, so we got this guy pretty well done. Oh, we can hit drone control and get rid of it, I guess? But if he hits our weapons, it's just like, it's, it's such a moot point. Oh, we can jump. We could escape. I don't want to escape, though. I want to bury this guy. Hit shields again. No, hit shields again. Why can't I change target? She's probably best we do hit that, really. Get rid of this thing. The combat in this game is surprisingly deep. You got, you do have, it's kind of like turn-based. You don't really realize until you start playing enough of it. Okay, ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of useful scrap materials. So we get a couple things to sell. 29, investigate the fueling platform. Ooh, we got five gas. It looks like Lanius were, Lanius? I'm gonna call them Lanius. We're uninterested in the fuel reserves on the station and there is a good amount of fuel left. You take what you can get and hold the prepare jump. Okay, so it was worth sticking around, that's for sure. Let's go to the distress. The Mantis ship in this system looks like its distress beacon is malfunctioning, likely due to the Lanius ship mining their hull and subsystem. Oh, so these Lanius things are like super metallic and they seem to be taking metal off of other things' ships? It doesn't look like the Mantis ship will last much longer. Attack the Lanius ship or leave the Mantis to their fate. Okay, well we need to save because we have two Mantises on our ship. They're, um, they're cool. Don't seem to have noticed you yet, but they were willing to launch the fray. Your target, okay, so this one, oh good, this one doesn't have that stupid hacking drone, so we can just blow it up. This should be an easy fight. Relationship hostile. You don't say. Fire! Pew pew pew, yeah, there we go. Let's take out their engines, I guess, so they can't run. Because sometimes they will run. They'll try to try to stop you from getting your, um... Save your current crew positions. Oh, that's cool. To try to stop you from getting salvage. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm getting distracted by new things. Return crew to save positions. Oh, okay. So let's make... Let's make this their saved positions. And now I can just hit that to send everybody back to where they're supposed to be. It's a nice little touch. The ship explodes, leaving behind a collection of useful scrap material. Awesome. Ooh. The mantis hiss and click, angry at being saved and angry at themselves for needing to be saved. They part ways with some scrap metal that is no longer attached to their hull and a few missiles that can no longer they can no longer use. Oh man, we are rich. Awesome. Let's get uh let's get some more energy in the ship. Let's get some more another power bar or two. Can we use two? No, I think we can only use one right now. Yeah, and it's best to save money, I think. You can dismiss crew to get rid of them. Okay, that's fine. So we'll put this into... Oh, we can't put it into weapons yet. Okay, that's fine. Jumping! Oh no, there's another distress there, but if we go back... Yeah, if we go back, we'll get caught by the rebels. I keep thinking that we're the rebels and we're against the Federation. We're the Federation against the rebels. We're the bad guys, it seems like, in, in Star Wars lore, but... I guess we're just the good guys in uh, in this situation. You stumble across a badly damaged Lanius craft. Uh, it jumps away as soon as it sees you. Looking around the area, you discover a number of destroyed rebel automated ships. It must have been quite the fight. Your scrap, you scrap what remains. Okay, so we got even more money. We are doing great. Do we want to go up and then down? I feel like if we go down, we're just gonna miss all this stuff. Yeah, let's go this way. I want to maximize how much stuff we get to see. Uh-oh. An image of some weak, hungry humans comes onto your screen. Those metal bastards think they can just absorb half of our engines and leave us here to die? I hope you understand the need to take your ship by force. You are in for a bad time, guys, not gonna lie. Oh no! They have more, they have four. Mantises! The Mantises has low, like, um, low health is the issue, but they have high attack. So hopefully they win this. It looks like they're gonna win this. Oh, you guys are gonna get wrecked. Yeah, there goes one, and then they start shooting. Who's low? Done. See you later, boys. And now we get to heal up and everything is good. Awesome. And that is why having a couple of mantises, man manti? Mantises is super useful. Ooh, a store. Okay, let's make our way over to that store because we have 124. We could get a really good weapon if there's something there. A few refugee ships are preparing for the long journey to another sector. They explain how a number of Lanny's military ships surrounded them and began to hack their FTL drive. Fortunately, the Lanny's moved on, briefly scanning the civilian ships, leaving them more than a little shaken up. Okay, so we're just talking to people? Nothing happening? Okay, moving on. 
The beacon is bustling with activity. It looks like there are some merchants deciding to capitalize on the fact that dozens of refugee ships are using this location to recharge our field drives. You browse their wares. Um, ooh, Buster Laser 2. That's what we want. How much does that cost? Oh, that's selling. Boo. I didn't see a sec. I thought it was a second page that I clicked on. So they don't have a second page here. So what do we want? Do we just want to load up on gas, I guess? Cloaking? Cloaking is cool. You can go invisible between their shots while your stuff recharges. Automated reload or cooldown between weapon shots is improved by 10%. That seems really good. Let's get that. That doesn't cost energy. That's not a room. That's just like um, an upgrade to your ship. So now we get to fire a thing faster. Good purchase. You begin charging your FTL drive and do a quick scan of a local planet. You find the ruins of a recently destroyed Federation colony on the surface. There must be a rebel ship in the vicinity. Do we want to go looking for the ship or no time to search? Yeah, let's look for the ship. Doesn't look too tough. You are able to quickly track down the rebels. Let's hope he's as easy to defeat in combat as he was to find. Ooh, saucy. Let's take out those shields. Yeah, this one doesn't look too bad at all. He's got decent weapons, but we have better shields. And, uh... I don't know what that is. Is that a teleporter? I feel like we want, we might want to take that out first. Because if they're about to go down, they'll often teleport their crew onto your ship. And then you have to fight them as well. It's a pain in the butt. Whatever it is, it's dead now. They offer to give some of their goods if you don't destroy them. 17-5. No, don't be so silly. No mercy for the rebel scum. Because they have absolutely no chance. I always feel like you're going to get more if you kill them. But I might be wrong. I guess we'll find out now. Let's hit their, hit their shields. Finish them off. Come on now. Pew, pew, pew. Done. So we would have gotten 5 and 17. We got 1 and 30. That's a good deal. Because 4 would have been worth 12. Eh, it came out to be about the same. Not much of a difference. Um, we're gonna go here, because we need to get out of here. The, uh, the rebel charge is moving forward, and they don't have- that rebel wave isn't full of, like, those little weak guys you can just, like, farm. They're much stronger ships. You, you will die. You detect a damaged vessel docking with a jump beacon. It appears to be Lanius are absorbing metal from the beacon, risking destroying it and becoming stranded. Ask if they require assistance. Send them 30 scrap. This is weird. You detect a damaged vessel docking with the jump beacon. It appears the Lanius are absorbing metal from the beacon, risking destroying it and becoming stranded. Okay, so they want to potentially destroy the beacon that we need to use. So we can either give them 30 scrap to make them go away, we can ask them if they need help, or we can leave. Let's ask them if they need help, because I kind of want to kill them. After a long message, the translator is only able to spurt out critical, must, metal. You can only surmise they are desperate for scrap. These guys are like vultures. They're like parasites of space. Why would I give them? You prepare to jump as soon as possible. You don't want to be around uh, if they disable the beacon. Yeah, screw you guys. I'm getting going to this beacon. I don't like them. They don't seem very nice. You've arrived at the long range beacon. When the FTL drive is charged, you can jump to the next sector. Your sensors have picked up a refugee ship drifting through the system. No doubt one of many fleeing rebel advances. It doesn't appear to have any detection on you or else it is trying to avoid notice. Okay, well, let's, uh, let's hail them. The vessel is relieved to hear from you. They are running low on supplies. They suggest a trade. We don't need missiles. I don't have a missile shooter, so I don't need it, but at the same time, I kind of want to help them. Yeah, we'll help them. I feel like an idiot because there's probably no repercussions to that, but whatever. Next sector, where are we going? Do we want to go to an uncharted nebula or, no, civilian? Uncharted nebula is a lot of storms. We don't, oh my god, why? Welcome to a new sector. Get to the exit beacon and jump to the next sector, pursuing rebel catching you, same as always, except this is covered in storms like I didn't want. Let's see if we can get a little bit way through this one before I end the episode. I, I want these episodes to be about 20 minutes, but at the same time, every time I'm playing, I want to keep going. This game is so much fun. An advanced rebel automated ship remains stationary near a small rebel space station. However, without functioning sensors, it is impossible to tell what is inside. We can attack the automated ship to get to the station. We can avoid provoking the ship, or we can try to hack the station to prevent an alert. Okay, let's try hacking it. 
You successfully hack the station and serve the connection to an automated chip. You access the station undetected. The station was either abandoned or stripped clean. It seems to have lain unused for quite some time. You find nothing useful. Okay, so we would have fought it and probably got nothing if we jumped it, but uh, we were fortunate. Ooh, do I want to go there? I want to go to the store. Come on, give me, give me a new weapon for this second episode. That's something I really wanted to get. Uh, a ship engineer has set up a small shop here. Okay, heavy laser's not bad. Hull missile, I'm pretty sure I sold that last episode. Not really any point in buying it, that's kind of disappointing. Do we want to get a heavy laser? I feel like it's probably worth it, right? Um, yeah, why not? You know what, for the, sake of, for the sake of the episode, we'll do that. So now we have a heavy laser, we can charge that up, so we have another gun. Let's see if we can use it before distress, there we go. I think I have a strategy with a heavy laser. Ha! I knew someone would fall into our dastardly trap! I feel like he should be twirling his mustache when saying that. It appears this distress beacon was nothing but a decoy for a pirate ambush. Buddy, you picked the wrong ship to ambush. So the heavy laser charges up faster, but I'm gonna hold on to it. We can use our burst laser, which does less damage, to break their shields. And then we can use the heavy one to take out something? Yeah, so now you don't have any weapons. Pretty, pretty basic stuff, not too difficult. Pew, pew, pew. And then the big one, there we go. Oh, I think, you hear that? I think we broke uh, broke the airlock over there. Because if you fire the big one and they still have their shields up, it just bounces off of it. You are considerably more well-armed than I would have ever thought we surrendered. No, 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 no. That's probably more than I'm going to get, actually, but no surrender. <laughs> That's gonna be it for this episode of Faster Than Light, and I hope that this episode does as well as the last one. I hope you guys are really enjoying the series because I have so much fun playing this game. I don't know why, I don't know what it is, I just really enjoy the game. And it would have been cool to get something new for you guys this episode. Get a new species of crew member, get a big new fancy weapon, but... It's kind of just a part of the game. You got to move forward through the sectors. And if we get into a fight that's too tough for us, there's a chance that we'll just lose and it's game over. There's no respawning. If you die, you're dead. So I really have no idea where this series is going to go, but I'm having a lot of fun playing the game. So hopefully you guys are having a lot of fun watching it. But thank you guys very much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you next time. Stop that. Don't look back. Okay. Nope. Not looking back. Do we look back? Oh shit! <laughs> uh, I do it for you guys. Fuck!